Welcome, UC fans, to UC Bearcats on the Prowl, part of the Growing Truth Radio Network. As always, James Ernest, along with Mark Fightmaster. Mark, what have the Bearcats been up to? Well, you know, this again, we're in the off season for football and basketball. Um, and before I get into the, the baseball team losing to Xavier uh, last night, I do want to say uh, in, in our off time here, uh, Rob Monroe passed away, a uh, basketball player uh, in, the, in the 90s, uh, was Danny Fortson's main backup. Only played one year for the basketball team, but he also uh, played a year for the football team, hooked on with the Atlanta Falcons. I uh, believe he got himself a Super Bowl ring. So uh, thoughts and prayers go out to his family. He's 40 years old, way too young. Uh, Apparently, it was a heart attack. Uh, so I saw that on Twitter. Terry Nelson had put that out there. So thoughts and prayers to his family. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's tough when somebody that young passes. So, um, you know, so our, our thoughts are with them. Uh, but with, the, with that out of the way, the uh, UC Bearcats baseball team dropped another one to Xavier last night. I think they lost like 7-1. to one. Um, mm-hmm. so, so that means uh, the bad guys in blue took two out of three from our Bearcats this year. So, yeah, it has been a rough year for them in baseball. I mean, they're getting there, but you're right. I mean, losing two out of three to Xavier is never any fun. Losing to Xavier any way, shape, or form is never any fun. But at least they're still about five hundred twenty-seven and twenty-six. So yeah. you know, they've got some good stuff there. Uh, they have a win against Louisville uh, when mm-hmm. you know six to three. So that's good. And Louisville's rated number one in the country. I mean, that's yeah. Something, uh, which is weird because it doesn't. I guess at the time UK wasn't rated because I know UK is rated like in the top ten right now. So it doesn't. Yeah, I, that. yeah. I, I don't think they were rated when UC played them. So, um, but even, you know, we've said this with basketball. Rate, ratings are so subjective. You know, somebody gets on the hot streak and they catch everybody's attention. So, um, you know, just to want the baseball team to keep plugging away. You know, they're. They'll get there, uh, you know. They gotta, they gotta get more competitive. But, you know, I mean, you gotta face it. Uh, college baseball in general, unless you're in the SEC, doesn't doesn't help pay the bills uh, that much. You know, they don't they don't get as much attention as the big boys. So, uh, you know, they'll get there. They'll be competitive. You know, obviously they're, you know, the 500ish record. So it shows they. They do well. Just got to string some things together. That pitching staff uh, is young, I believe, and they've got they've been struggling. So get it tightened up. We'll see what happens. Exactly. But on the bright side, they got that nice stadium, Marshall Stadium, top of the line, and then mm-hmm. got to finish up the season with Houston, and then of course the American uh, the Conference Championship uh, going to be mm-hmm. starting down there in Clearwater, Florida. Which you know, shoot, if uh, you got to go to somewhere in May, not a bad spot. Yeah, not a bad spot at all. And and I don't know if, um, and and you may know, uh, we didn't talk about this off air, but if the AAC uh, winner gets an automatic bid to the College World Series or not. Um, so, you know, maybe they can string a few wins together, and if that's the case, get in there. You never know. Exactly. I mean, that's how they got to do it is, you know, shoot, even if you got to, you know, knock down the door this time, Maybe next year build on it and uh, you know have a better regular season, get a better uh, seed into the tournament. But yeah, they uh, yeah. I think they I think they do. I mean, I don't think it's going to be the best seed even if they do sneak in there. But uh, yeah, I think they do sneak in if they uh, do win the conference tournament. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure. I know I know several conferences do have that, and you know, with with the AAC being relatively new, I didn't know how they played that. So uh, you know. We wish them luck, you know. They're Bearcats, so so we root for them. Exactly. And then otherwise, there ain't really been too much else going on. I mean, golf. And, like, I forgot UC doesn't even have softball. That surprised me. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was just looking that up. I was like, oh, I wonder how their softball. Oh, we don't have one. Yeah, After you your... know, I, which kind of surprises me, what with uh, Title IX and all the uh, gender equity. But, uh, you know, I guess they make it up somewhere else with a, with a different sport. Yeah, they make it up with uh, lacrosse, volleyball. Let's see, what else do we do? So they got tennis, which they don't have for men. That surprised me. I thought they'd be okay. uh, so, 
Um, yeah, it's mostly the uh, lacrosse and the uh, the volleyball, but still with you know shoot uh, you know football of course is always going to be way more athletes. So yeah, yeah, I would figure yeah. they would have had you know the equivalent to a match with the baseball, but eh. whatever works from uh, UC. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's all those fun, uh, fun legalistic and governmental things that you got to deal with when you're when you're looking at college sports. So exactly. Yeah, because, I mean, shoot, that's the reason why uh, wrestling's not in a lot of places nowadays. It's not so much, and a lot of people blame Title IX, but it's not so much that it's Title IX, it's the schools not wanting to spend the equal amount of money, so instead of just um, spending more money, they cut the uh, cut a small in sport to equal it out, as opposed exactly. to... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and, and you know that does work to the benefit of the bigger schools like the Ohio State's, the Big Ten schools, you know, the uh, SEC schools where they can have wrestling, you know. Um, I mean, if you look at college wrestling, you know, a lot of the top ten teams are Big 12 and Big Ten, and that's because – Oh, yeah. Big Ten quite awesome. lost. Yeah, and they're some of the only schools that have those programs, you know. So, so they get the best of the best. You know, you got that uh, a kid from Ohio State who's out there winning gold medals at the Olympics and and all these world competitions, you know. So, uh, it, it plays to their benefit. But you know, it, it is it is what it is. So exactly, because yeah, I was uh, at one point I kicked around going to the uh, the wrestling tournament in St. Louis this year because uh, oh, yeah. that's where they. Had their- yeah, that's the way the NCAA tournament. Because when I went online to get the credentials for the um, the basketball tournament, they had the wrestling tournament credentials as well. And I'm like, uh-huh. St. Louis is just outside of that where I'm going to drive to. Yet, yeah. yeah. I mean, down the road maybe, but right now I'm going. Eh, that's five, six hours. That's just a little mm-hmm. too much. Yeah, I was going to yep. say three, maybe four. You know, I'm down, but after that, it's it's just hard to get motivated because you got to do the up and back. I mean, if it was just, you know, one way, and it ain't so bad. But, exactly. yeah, it's not, so it sounds like UC is uh, baseball, you know, good year, not a great year, and then right. hopefully they'll, uh, you know, do well in the tournament. Yeah, because in conference it was 9-12. and 12. Their home record wasn't bad, 15-11. and 11. Of course, you know, mm-hmm. shoot would have a pretty even record. Then, of course, the road was 12-5, and five, so, you know, it's to be expected. Um, unfortunately, it seems our uh, guest didn't join us this week, uh, but we're back. But we'll hopefully uh, get him on at another time. I'm sure a meeting or something came up there in Michigan, and uh, yeah, you know, we'll have to get back with him on that. But uh, sounds like things are good, and uh, we got a couple other guys that I'm in talks with for uh, two weeks from now, trying to get them on the show, and uh, oh, excellent, be great. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, it would have been nice to catch up with Butler, you know, uh, since he left UC back in 2006-ish, I believe. He's been – he's caught on – back on with Mark D'Antonio and is uh, doing some, you know, quality control kind of work up at uh, Michigan State now. So, well, uh, you know, hopefully we can catch up with him and talk about that. Excellent. So, uh, any final thoughts, Mark? No, just uh, you know, keep your, keep your ears open for uh, basketball and football news. You know, we uh, Mick did manage to get that. Uh, and I can't. I for the life of me, I cannot remember this kid's name. The the big six nine kid uh, coming in. Uh, they they snagged him, so he's uh, another cog in the machine for next year, uh, which should be a very exciting year for UC basketball. So and then uh, you know Luke and his boys keep plugging away at football and. Uh, We'll, uh, you know, football season is going to be on top of us before you know it. So, you know, we'll be going back to our weekly show and all that fun stuff. So, Cool. Actually, I do have uh, one thing about the basketball. They are going to start a series with UCLA. So that's kind of cool. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you know what? I forgot that ha- um, I forgot that film the time that we were off, you know, when we didn't, when we didn't talk last week. What is that? They're going to – I think they're going out to UCLA this year. That sounds uh, right. Play them. Yeah. Yeah, that this was season. crazy. I mean, just imagine UCLA coming to uh, NKU. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Kind of, yeah. That. I mean, that. Wow. That'd be nuts. Playing them yeah. at the uh, BNC Arena. Because I mean, yeah, that's when, uh, I know a lot of Bearcat fans won't be, at, you know, excited about playing up at NKU. But 
I can imagine the seats are going to be better. Just access mm-hmm. is better. It's it's going to be a really good opportunity for them to uh, to have a nice season. Yeah, I, I encourage them to. I encourage the fans to support them at BB and T because you're right. It's a good place to go watch a basketball game. There's really not a bad seat in the house there. The the seats are uh, excellent. You know, it's new. It's a comfortable arena. It'll be a great place to watch one of the best teams in the country play. Yeah, it's uh, December this year, uh, the 16th. We're going to play at Pauley Pavilion in Los Angeles. Yep. Cincinnati welcomes UCLA to you know next year to fifth third on December nineteenth. So yeah, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be huge. Yeah, it's Cronin yeah, yeah. Little, little bit of an NCAA tournament rematch. Now, granted, uh, UCLA is not going to have uh, uh, the Alford kid, and they won't have uh, well Lonzo Ball. I think that's a given. So yeah. uh, he'll be out there. Uh, Hucking his four hundred and ninety five dollars shoes for his dad. So uh you know, we won't have to worry about him too much. But it'll still be a good competitive game. Uh, you know, you get two of the two of the top programmers in the country playing, so it's gonna be fun. Definitely. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're selling them yet, but fans, if you do have the opportunity, go ahead and buy that ticket because I can imagine uh two thousand eighteen that ticket is gonna go like crazy. Yep. Well, sounds yeah, great. For the UC Bearcats, uh, UC Bearcats on the Prowl, part of the Grueling Truth Radio Network. Uh, me and Martin Light, Lightmasters.